Hello, it's time for another book review and this is not the same kind of review because it's not even so much about a bushcraft book, but yeah, people are probably thinking, oh, he's going to compare everything to Morris Kohansky's bushcraft. Maybe a little bit, but here it is. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a nice companion to any bushcraft books you might have in your library and I'm about to tell you why. I'm Dean, this is the Alberta Bushcrafter Channel. So, people are going to ask, well, it's a bushcraft channel. Why do you want to go through a sportsman's book? Because there's a lot of great information in this. Books like these, you know, bushcraft's going to teach you how to cut down a tree, work wood, take care of your axe, your saw, teach you firecraft, sheltercraft, and so on, and knifecraft as well, which is something some of the other books have sort of neglected. And that's all great. Those skills are essential. What this book is, on the other hand, it's the Field and Stream, the Total Outdoorsman Manual. And it's not cheap. And it's big and it's heavy and you probably won't be carrying it around with you unless it's in your vehicle. But what gets me is it says there's 408 skills, including new tips from the 10 years of the Total Outdoorsman channel, a challenge. Um, let's go through it. You, you tell me, just looking at the table of contents, it's very nice capsule format. So, yeah, camping. It's like pitch it camp, pitch camp like a wolf, lighten your pack, cut the cheese. Okay, um, crap like a cat, dig a bean hole. There's all kinds of just single tips in here. Um, huge section on fishing. I mean, it's like almost half the tips, which you expect from Field and Stream. I need a deeper look here, but see, I'm already a ton of stuff on hunting. A ton of stuff on survival. There's even some challenges in the book I like hold a casting Olympics or fine tune your shotgun fit or launch a boat solo or launch a canoe. And yeah, we're getting the more of the fishing stuff. The thing I like about it is, yeah, like here's light in your pack. This is cutting down your kit to the essentials. This is what you're going to need, what else you can do. Um, okay, let's just, yeah, rainproof any tent. This is almost out of the, you know, camping's best kept secrets book. The illustration is almost the same and very valuable. Again, just look at some of these. And I don't get any. I don't get any. Uh, don't get anything from Field and Stream for doing this. Uh, I'll take a look at a few more. Splitting logs, turn a canoe into a campsite. Hey, roast the perfect marshmallow. The fishing stuff is interesting. Let me get a closer look there. I don't, I'm not a sport fisherman, but I imagine with some of these tips I probably could be. Just excellent tips if you're into fishing. Same with hunting. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, have a look. Some of these are like you see. Like this one here says, tie this fly if it's the last thing you do. Well, okay. I haven't done fly tying in years and I wasn't great at it to begin with, but it, it's got that sort of sensational Huffington Post kind of approach. You know, he does this and you'd never believe what happens. Okay, well, okay, fine. But yeah, it's just a lot of great little tips. It's worth grabbing. Well, you know what? Go to your local library and see if you, you can borrow it. It's probably sitting in there. That's why I'm saying you don't have to buy the book for a lot of these. Check out, if hope your library is, library is big. 
excellent stuff on tracking here. But these are all one pagers. These are not several pages on a subject. Uh, let's see. Yeah. There's too many to look at here and flip through and show you, but right now we're going to get to the fun part survival. That's what's directly related to bushcraft. And, well, right off the bat, how to make a couple of ice spikes. In case you fall through, a, well, you, you fall through the, the ice, which has happened to a friend of mine. We had to pull them out. Uh, fish traps. Build a fire in the rain. Oh, okay, there's the classic log cabin fire right there. See, that's why I like this book. There's a lot of little tidbits. Are they all right? I don't know. I haven't had to try them. Let's have a quick look. Oh, drink your own urine. Yeah, okay. This is going to this is going to feature in an upcoming video. This is all on tinders and fire starting. See, this is what I like to see. Some kind of illustration. Yeah, all kinds. Hey, how to skin and cook a snake. So again, this is worthwhile to have. This is sort of a, you know, tips and tricks guide. Is it the book you want to have for learning bushcraft? Absolutely not. Because these are, a lot of these are, uh, well, you'll find them in other books. You'll find, for example, there's a whole couple pages on staying on top of thin ice. Well, that's in several winter camping books I've seen. This one, Spark of Fire with a Knife. That's right out of this. But what is compiled in this book is well it, it's from I, I see this from several survival guides I've got from several bushcraft guides and yeah nice set of tips if you want to borrow it from the library if you want to buy it yourself I think it's a decent book is it a must-have field manual no eh, not really like I said, the, the fishing and hunting tips alone are great. The survival tips, no, I'll keep my SAS survival guide, thanks. And again, you know, there's a lot of overlap for books like this and books like Remier's Bushcraft, or Morse Kahansky Bushcraft, or the SAS survival guide. So what am I getting at? Oh, well, it's a decent book. And that's what reviews are for. I like the book. I like the fact everything's laid out. The table of contents is excellent. You can find what you want. And... You know, bone up on your skills on rainy days. So it's a keeper. It's going on the shelf. And again, I like it better than, uh, than some of the other bushcraft and survival books I've seen. Not mentioning any names. There are some I'm not going to review because they, I've, there are a couple I have reviewed that just were terrible. Um, there are a couple that were okay. This one, not a survival guide. It's more of an outdoorsman guide. So all those little tips and tricks will help. So yeah, buy it if you want. Look for it in the library if you want. A lot of the field and stream guides like this are like that. They're just single page tips. Some of them in great de detail on how to do, how to learn a skill or how to do it. But you're only gonna learn these skills properly by practicing them. So grab a copy of the book, maybe scan some pages, print them out or whatever. And take them out with you in practice. All right, that's about as far as I can go with this one. Anyways, feel the stream, total outdoorsman manual. That's pretty good. I like it. So that's it for now. I'm Dean. This is the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. Thanks for watching and like, share, comment, subscribe. Take care and good day.